Hello Troop 516, this is Mr. Duncan. You guessed it, fourth best not tire in the troop. Today I'm gonna to show you something I learned last year at summer camp. It's called the trucker's hitch. It's a great way for tying up uh, maybe a clothesline. When you're at summer camp, maybe you'd like to tie a tight line between two trees in order to hang up your bathing suit and let it dry. Or maybe halfway through the week, you're gonna wash your clothes and you need a place to hang up your wet clothes and let them dry. You could also tie a tight line to drape a tarp over and maybe sit under it for some shade. And later on when you start uh, hammocking, maybe, maybe the trucker's hitch could be used to, to tie a tight line to drape your uh, tarp over that would keep you uh, sheltered from the rain while you're sleeping in your hammock. This is, a, this is called the trucker's hitch and I learned it last year at summer camp and you know who taught me? was Mr. D'Amico. Mr. D'Amico is a great knot tire. He's way better at this stuff than me. You know, he's an Eagle Scout. He knows all of these knots. He knows these knots inside and out. If you ever get stuck, he's a good, good guy to go talk to. He knows all these knots, and he taught this knot to me. The, the trucker's hitch actually used three different knots. It uses a bowline knot. I'll show you that in a few minutes. It uses two half hitches, which we also know is a clove hitch, on a rope itself, and it also uses a new knot that we haven't done before called the slip knot. So I'm gonna show you the slip knot first, then I'm gonna show you where I've already tied my bowline, and then I'm gonna show you how to hook up the, the trucker's hitch using a, a slippery clove hitch. So the first thing we got to do is tie a slip knot. This is just called a slip knot. It's a knot that comes undone really quickly. And you guessed it, we begin by making an overhand loop. And then, on the running end of our rope, we make a little bite. We stick it up from behind, and we snug it down. That's a slip knot. You can even adjust a little bit, pulling on the running end. The reason it's called a slip knot is, watch what happens, I can pull it apart, it goes away. Let's do that again. Make an overhand loop. And on my running end, I make a little bite. I stick the bite up through the back of my overhand loop and tighten everything down. Pull on my running end. I can adjust my slip knot to the size I want and pow, it's gone. With a little practice, you can tie a slip knot pretty quickly. I just roll it over like that and then take my thumb and push the bite up and pull it through. That's how fast I can do a slip knot. You see that? Let's tie one over here, just a little bit closer. Let's do one more time. Overhand loop, take my thumb and push it up through, snug it down. That's my slip knot. Back up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the running end of my rope. Oh, let me show you what I've got over here. I forgot almost. On one side, I've got a bowline knot. Do you see that bowline knot? Let me get it right side up for you. Do you see that bowline knot? I've tied that just exactly like I showed you in the other video. And I've got it tied to my workbench. You see it down there? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the end of this rope around this pole. This is called a lally pole. Helps hold my house up. I'm going to run my rope around my pole. I'm gonna take this running end, the free end, and I'm gonna stick it through that slip knot. See there? See that? And now, whoops. I tighten it up real tight. Look how tight my rope is.
And now what I do is I pinch it. Pinch it right there. It won't come undone. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two half hitches, which is we know is a clove hitch. I'm gonna droop it over that line. I'm gonna reach through and pull it through. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna droop it over the line. Now, if I pull that through just like that, that's two half hitches. But I'm gonna do something clever. I'm gonna do that last half hitch. I'm gonna droop it over. You see that? And then I'm gonna make a bite. I'm gonna bend it right there and then snug that down. So what I did was I made a slippery, I made a slippery half hitch. That last half hitch was a slippery half hitch because now when I'm ready to take down my line, I just pull it, pop, and it comes undone very quickly. Let's do that one more time. So I've made my slip knot already. And then I come around my other tree and I've tied my anchor end using my bowline on that end down there already. That's a fixed loop. That's not gonna slip, that's not gonna slide, it's just gonna stay there. Tie a slip knot. Take my free end and run it through my slip knot. And pull it tight. Look how tight that rope is. I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna pinch it right there. It's not gonna go anywhere. Droop my rope over. Reach through. Pull it tight. That's one half hitch. I'm gonna droop it over again. And I'm gonna bend it. Pull that down tight. That last half hitch is a slippery half, hit, half hitch. See there? That's called the trucker's hitch. You could use the trucker's hitch. You could use the trucker's hitch to uh, tie down gear in the back of your dad's truck, maybe your mom's truck. You could use it to set up a clothesline to hang up your bathing suit or, or wet clothes after you wash it at summer camp. You're allowed to do that. You might use it as a ridge line to droop a tarp over. All kinds of things you can use a trucker's hitch for. It's real easy. Use a bowline line on one end. You tie a, a slip knot. Run the rope around your other tree, in this case a lally pole and tie a slippery two half hitches. You ready to go home? Pop it out. Just that easy. Easy to take down. That's it. All right, y'all. Wanna say thank you to Mr. D'Amico for teaching me that hitch last year. Uh, we used it to tie up a monstrous parachute in the Firecraft area last year. Uh, it's a really cool hitch. It was fun to learn. It's fun to watch, and I hope you have had fun watching me. That's all for now. See you next time. Bye-bye.